But you know what I also see here is quotes like this. There must never be a narrowly voted impeachment or an impeachment supported by one of our major political parties or imposed by another. Such an impeachment will produce divisiveness, bitterness in politics for years to come and will call into question the very legitimacy of our political institutions. The American people are watching. They will not forget. You have the votes. You may have the muscle, but you do not have the legitimacy of a national consensus or of a constitutional imperative. The partisan coup d'etat will go down in infamy in the history of the nation. How about this one? I think the key point is that the Republicans are still running a railroad job with no attempt at fair procedure. And today, when the Democrats offered amendments, offered motions in committee to say we should first discuss and adopt standards so that we know we're dealing with, standards for impeachment that was voted down or ruled out of order. When we say the important thing is to start looking at the question before we simply have a vote with no inquiry first, that was voted down and ruled out of order. So frankly, the whole question of what material should be released and what is secondary, but that's all we discussed. The essential question, and here it is, which is to set up a fair process as to whether the country put this country through an impeachment proceeding. That was ruled out of order. The Republicans refused to let us discuss it. Those are all Chairman Nadler before he was chairman. I guess 20 years makes a difference. This is an interesting time. We're having a factless impeachment. You just heard a one-sided presentation of facts about this president. Today, we will present the other side, which gets so conveniently left out. Remember, fairness does dictate that, but maybe not here because we're not scheduling anything else. I have a Democratic majority who has poll tested what they think they ought to call what the president they think he did. Wow, that's not following the facts. We have a, 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 just a deep-seated hatred of a man who came to the White House and did what he said he was going to do. The most amazing question I got in the first three months of this uh, gentleman's presidency from reporters was this. Can you believe he's putting forward those ideas? I said, yes, he ran on them. He told the truth and he did what he said. The problem here today is this will also be one of the first impeachments the chairman mentioned. There was two of them, one that before he resigned before the one in Clinton, in which the facts, even by Democrats and Republicans, were not really disputed. And this one, they're not only disputed, they're contradicted of each other. There are no set facts here. In fact, they're not anything that presents an impeachment here except a president carrying out his job in the way the Constitution saw that he sees fit to do it. This is where we're at today. So the interesting thing that I come to with most everybody here is this may be a new time, a new place, and we may be all scrubbed up and looking pretty for impeachment. But this is not an impeachment. This is just a simple railroad job. 